Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Return to Zendikar or Battle for Zendikar as people are calling it. I guess that's the official name. And whether or not uh, you should be saving your money for it. So Magic Origins is this summer. People, you know, every time a new set comes out, uh, it is hyped, it is hyped, it is hyped. And your main question at this point would be, should I spend my money on Magic Origins or should I spend my money on something like Battle for Zendikar? And that's a very good question. That's actually a very, very pertinent question that a lot of you might have. And my answer to that is save up for Zendikar. Uh, saving up for Zendikar is incredibly important because of the Zendikar fetch lands and then the full art. Remember when Zendikar first came out, buying a fat pack meant you got 40 40, one of each artwork, full art lands. That little package sealed is worth the price of that fat pack. To like, I think buy list is like $25 right now for a you know sealed pack of those. I know they buy list for like around a quarter at least. So then like it's $10, but if it's like sealed pack, then the all the people are willing to pay more money on that. And that doesn't include the Zendikar Fest lands. That was just the uh, basic lands. That was the basic lands. It was worth, it's worth as much as the fat pack now, pretty much, in trade. I mean, if someone told me, because they trade for a dollar a piece right now, so if someone told me they had one of those, I would trade 40 bucks for it. Like, I would be like, not $40 cash, but like in cards, I would easily trade $40 for it. And the fat packs at that time were selling for $30. Like, they kind of are selling for $30 now. So, return, battle to Zendikar, Assuming they have Zendikar Fest lands and they have Zendikar, you know, I would like horizontal lands. I think that would be kind of cool. Maybe I'm like alone in that, but like that would be kind of clever. I think that would be nice. And then you could tap them like the opposite. I guess the tapping me mechanic would be kind of messed up. But those lands, those basic lands, wow, there's an incredible value for you to be opening packs of that. Every pack had. Everyone, every pack had a land which which worth a dollar. Like if you're buying your packs for two dollars and seventy five cents or three dollars, which is not like unreasonable, um, then you get a dollar back in trade, regardless of what else is in the pack. I mean, tell me another pack that is like that. Okay, there's actually two other packs like that: unglued and unhinged. Like back then, if you bought a pack of unglued, then your land, you're just your land that automatically comes with it, not a non-foil version of it. Oh, that's what I also have to tell you. There are foil versions of those basic lands worth 10, 15, 20 dollars. How much are the islands worth? Someone leave it in the comments below. Uh, and with like certain artists like John Avon, like I'm sure his island is, if he has an island, is worth a lot. Um, and you look at it and I have to say, Magic Origins looks very good, but it's not, not something that I can say open as many packs as you can. If Battle for Zendikar has basic lands like they did last time, and then had fat packs where you get 40 of them, full art basic lands, how can you lose? Like, how can you lose? And then the extra value of having that basic land, like that $1 basic land, I mean, it's not going to be $1 when it comes out because it wasn't back then, but eventually it could be $1 because people like it, is incredible value for a pack because every pack, no matter what, what's in your pack. And then you're talking about foil fetch lands, foil misty rainforests, for foil tarns, I guess would be the best one right now, and foil basics worth 10 to 15, 25 dollars in the future, maybe more, I'm, I'm not, I didn't check the price on these. Why wouldn't you save your money for that? If it's coming and everyone expects it to be exactly like that, it seems pretty epic in my opinion. Um, so Magic Origins, obviously I'll buy some to open on this channel and I'll buy some for myself and I'll buy the... But I'm gonna try to save more money for uh, Return to Zendikar because I, I have a gut feeling that that's gonna be an incredibly valuable set down the road. Bye guys!